What's up everybody, Dr. Rossi, shrinksandsneakers.com. So in this video, what I'm going to talk about is a fun topic, I think, something that sometimes people do have questions about, other times they don't, but I think it's interesting and I think it's something that is sort of unique to the field of psychiatry. You probably will not see this in other medical school rotations that you do or in other medical specialties. And that is the question of why psychiatrists do not wear white coats. So, you know, again, it's something that always seemed intuitive to me, but I'll crack into it and I'll give you guys a little bit of my perspective on why psychiatrists don't wear white coats and why it might actually be helpful for your physician-patient relationships. So I've already alluded to it at the beginning that the choice for me to discard the white coat was always intuitive and made a lot of sense. And that is because to me in psychiatry, the most important thing that we do for our patients is we have a quality therapeutic relationship, right? We have a physician-patient relationship that is based on trust and confidence. And it has to be because the type of information that's being disclosed by our patients is very sensitive. It's information that, you know, sometimes people's family, significant others, they don't even know these things. So we need to work on ways to enhance that physician-patient relationship as much as possible. So there's a concept in primary care that's called white coat hypertension. And I'm sure if you, you guys have looked this up or, some, or if you do a quick Google search, you'll find it and you'll see that white coat hypertension is essentially where a patient comes to see their primary care doctor and every time they see their primary care doctor, their blood pressure is elevated. But when they check it at home, the blood pressure is normal. There's something about the white coat walking into the room that makes the person feel uncomfortable, have more anxiety, and thus the blood, sh the blood pressure goes up. So you could imagine in psychiatry a very, very similar scenario, right? Take for example, a patient who has severe anxiety prior to the initial encounter. They're worried about the fear of the unknown. Am I going to like this psychiatrist? <clears throat> Is this going to be helpful or therapeutic to me in any way? <clears throat> Is this person going to listen to me and be empathetic with what I've been going through and the situations and circumstances that I've faced in my life? Many, many questions, right? So that could be one scenario. Another scenario could be there's plenty of patients who've had bad experiences with psychiatrists. It's not unheard of for patients to complain that, you know, all psychiatrists are terrible and they're bad people and they're only out to, you know, give us terrible medications that destroy our lives. And, and so obviously those people who come in who are maybe a little bit prone to having those poor reference experiences are going to also have this so-called white coat syndrome. So we want to eliminate that as much as possible. And I know my goal as a physician, as a psychiatrist, every time is to have a meaningful conversation with my patients. And I know that that material is going to be sensitive and I know it's going to be difficult. So I want that conversation to be as free, as open as possible. I want that person to feel as comfortable as possible. And what I'm really talking about there is I'm trying to establish a sense of trust, right? So everything in my, from my interviewing style to my clothing choices to the way that I interact with my patients is all meant to make this as casual as possible and to establish that trust. And trust is important in any relationship, but it's especially important in these physician-patient relationships. So to kind of wrap the video and, to, and the discussion, I'll just say that I've detached myself a long time ago from the white coat as a symbol of knowledge and prestige. While, you know, I appreciate the hard work that went into achieving it, I don't necessarily need it to demonstrate my skill set. I trust my skills as a physician and I allow those things to speak for themselves. And so that when my patients come in for that encounter, hopefully it's everything that they expected it to be and it's relaxed and casual and we can really build a solid foundation for our future relationship. So that's all I'm going to say about white coats for now. If you have questions or comments about the white coats, personal experiences where the white coat made you feel uncomfortable, drop them in the comments section below. I'll be happy to answer and chat about those things. And please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us to keep growing.